Four years ago, I accidentally blew up our microwave. <laughs> See, my wife and I had a goal of helping our oldest son, Jack, learn to be more independent. He was eight years old at the time, but we thought this would be a good opportunity to teach him how to use the microwave. And I was pretty excited about this. As the co-founder of an artificial intelligence company, I was looking forward to developing some human intelligence within my son and help him pick up a new skill. So we were in the kitchen working on this. I was on the other side of the island, and Jack was over by the microwave making some Easy Mac. And I was supposed to be supervising, but truth be told, I really wasn't. At this point, he had made Easy Mac at least a half dozen times before without issue. On this day, however, the microwave started making some noises, and I remember looking up, and I saw this light coming from inside of it. So I ran over, and I shut the unit off. But at that point, it was too late. The microwave was fried. See, when making his Easy Mac, Jack had initially set the timer for five minutes. And then when the water started boiling, he took his cup out, just like I taught him. But then with two minutes left on the clock, he shut the microwave door. And instead of hitting that stop button, he hit the start button again, running the microwave empty for the remaining two minutes. And in case you weren't aware, running a microwave empty for pretty much any amount of time, you run the risk of permanently damaging the unit, which for us brought a little excitement on that Saturday. You see, at, at that point in Jack's life, literally everything he knew about using a microwave, I had taught him. And while he was trying to develop that skill, that human intelligence, well, his logic was faulty because I didn't teach him everything he needed to know. The era of artificial intelligence has already started. This is not a futuristic topic anymore. Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, Google, Tesla, artificial intelligence is already embedded with all of the core products and services these companies offer. Products and services, I think most people here today are probably already using on a daily basis. Now, I started by sharing the story about Jack and our microwave because I think it's, it's important for us to understand how artificial intelligence is created and what our roles in this process are. You see, the possibilities and limitations of artificial intelligence become more clear when we think about the similarities to how we develop new skills within our children. Everyday skills like tying your shoes or riding a bike and even using a microwave no one is born knowing how to do any of those things. Every one of us had to be taught. And similarly, artificial intelligence is born knowing nothing. Everything that AI knows, it learns from data. And that's a really key point. Everything that artificial intelligence knows, it learns from data. And the question really is, where does the data come from? And the answer is that much of it comes from you and me and our devices our laptops, our tablets, certainly those phones, and now even our watches. These are all data-generating machines, and the types of data that they're really good at creating is exactly the kind of data that artificial intelligence requires. And our everyday actions, like hitting that like button on social media, or leaving a five-star rating on your favorite show on your streaming app, to everything that you browse before ultimately making that purchasing decision when online shopping. Behind the scenes, all of these interactions are captured as data. And all of this data is then turned around and fed into the next generation of artificial intelligence. So we are all participating in the advancement of AI because we're all helping create the data. And it's this data that's the fuel that AI requires. Artificial intelligence is so powerful because of this ability to learn from data, but it's also probably its greatest weakness because concepts that aren't present in the data won't be learned. And sometimes the patterns that are identified are not accurate or contain bias. And this bias, if it's age or gender or race or anything else that's present in the data, runs the risk of becoming embedded within the intelligence that is created. Amazon encountered this when they created artificial intelligence to help them evaluate new job candidates. The data used to train the AI contained a severe gender bias. Women were not well represented within Amazon's hiring history. 
Because of this, the intelligence that was created tended to undervalue the female job candidates. When Amazon discovered this, they stopped using the approach. Microsoft famously created a chatbot they named Microsoft Tay. And Tay was created with the goal of participating in online conversations and automatically learning from these conversations with the goal of improving over time. Well, within just two hours of being online and learning from social media, Tay was already producing offensive content. <laughs> right? And within 16 hours, I guess maybe that's not funny, but within 16 hours, uh, they had to take it offline. Now, these are cautionary tales and ones we all need to be aware of when thinking about artificial intelligence. But on a whole, the field has really matured in the last 10 years. So much so, I challenge everyone here today to think about a what-if scenario. What if artificial intelligence disappeared from the world tomorrow? How do you think you would be impacted? I can tell you how I would be impacted. I like that when I log into Netflix, I get personalized recommendations on the next show to watch. I appreciate that when I pick up my phone, it recognizes my face and automatically unlocks. I could use my pin, but that would be inconvenient sometimes. My email inbox would be a total mess without an AI spam filter. But probably the app that I would miss the most is that navigation app in my phone, always evaluating the current traffic conditions to help me get from point A to point B. I could always go back to printing out those old MapQuest directions, <laughs> but I, I, I don't want to do that. So for me in my life, artificial intelligence is my co-pilot. It's already embedded in nearly all the applications I use every day, and it's always working behind the scenes just to make my life a little easier. But get ready, because this is gonna change. While today, AI is probably a lot like my eight-year-old old was using that microwave, it still needs some supervision. But AI is gonna mature and advance. And as it does, we're going to start to see a transitionary period where in some areas of our life, artificial intelligence is going to move into the captain's seat. And you and I become the co-pilots, freeing up our human intelligence to work on matters that are important to us. And I don't think anyone fully understands all of the implications of this transition, nor have we even begun to imagine all the new possibilities. What an exciting future we all have to look forward to. And maybe we'll even get a smarter microwave. Thank you.